$25,000 Pennsylvania bred race, the Le Grand Poe. I get to use my French here. Five and a half furlongs with the main track for the boys. And a favorite, uh, probably the best Pennsylvania bred sprinter in training, number five, Banjo Picker. He goes off at three to five, and Dickie just gets better with age. Can't yeah, forget probably, Keith. He's here, yeah. and he loves the FA. 11 wins at the FA. I mean, he's got 13 wins lifetime, and this is where he does all his best riding. If you want to call him a nemesis, his uh, opponent here, number six, Power by Lee. They battled each other last year. The only time Power by Lee beat him was when Banjo Picker had been off for 10 months. Banjo Picker hasn't been off for 10 months. Here's our local feature. And they're off. Power by Lee breaks first. Power by Lee got the jump on Banjo Picker, but Banjo Picker is right there on the inside. And they are duly here in the opening furlong. And Banjo Picker comes through on the inside and gets the lead. Power by Lee is going to have to try to run by him now. It's about four back to G4, who advances outside of Lucky Bebento. Stormy Prince has settled in at the back of the pack, running about eight lengths behind the opening quarter, 21 and three. It's Banjo Picker. Banjo Picker, three furlongs to go, leading it by just over a length. Power by Lee tracking from second. Lucky Bebento on the inside has moved up to third, still almost four lengths back, though. And then it's G4, well back to Stormy Prince, Banjo Picker. See if they can come and get him. Banjo Picker turns for home with a three-length lead. Power by Lee has dropped back a bit on the outside. Lucky Memento trying to mount a rally at the inside. Middle of the racetrack, G4 is driving fourth. It's Banjo Picker. Banjo Picker comes to the final 16th with a three-and-a-half length lead. Power by Lee driving. Outside, it's G4, but they won't get Banjo Picker. Another big performance by Banjo Picker. Banjo Picker strides home a three-and-a-half length winner. As I mentioned, uh, getting better with age. Banjo Picker, another brilliant performance. Here comes charging out of the gate. Actually, Power by Lee out broke it, but not for long. Banjo Picker spread into the lead. Finished out in 104 and one place, three dollars and twenty cents to win. Power by Lee was second. Number three, G4 was third. One of the things that really amazes me about Banjo Picker, he's such a big, rugged-looking horse, but he's so athletic. Now he's so quick. I mean, he always breaks well. I mean, and he just whooshes to the front. And this horse is now over a half a million the hard way. I mean, race by race by race. Just a tough old horse. And at eight, as you said, he is getting better as he gets old. Steve, Steve Krebs, the trainer, has just done a tremendous job with Banjo Picker. And we caught up with Steve and rider Tara Hemmings after the race. An impressive race for your horse, Banjo Picker. Talk about it for me. Well, what can you say, Bruce? I mean, this horse performs, seems like he performs every time he, he goes out there, just runs his eyeballs out. Um, you know, he broke just a, a step slow, but, you know, got Tyra got him right, right in gear and to the front, and, you know, it was pretty much over from there. What kind of personality does he have? Uh, he's great. He's, uh, he's a very friendly horse, even though he will give you a little bite every once in a while, sneak a little bite in, but not hard, just a little pinch. Um, but he's just a pleasure to be around. You know, he's just a professional, gets up, does his job every day, he loves to train. Um, actually, when he goes on the racetrack, he sits out on the track for 15, 20 minutes, watches the other horse train, just watch him go by, and then goes on with his business and, you know, trains like he does. And, and just, just, like I said, a pleasure to be around. What's it like riding a horse like this? He's just, he just feels so powerful underneath you. Even when I jog him, exercise him in the morning, I just feel like, um, you know, he, I've got so much horse underneath me. He's, he's one of a kind. Steve says he's got a great personality. He's a sweetheart. He'll, uh, I give him a pick of grass on his back on the way to the track. I stand him out there, but, but, and he'll stand out there all morning if you let him. But time I turn him around, he's, he's all business. Well, it's time to pick up some more of the Sunshine Million.